A2, Key 1, Tests 1 to 4. Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019. This recording is copyright. CD1 Test 1 There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. How did the woman travel to work this morning? Hi, you're late for work today. Yes, I couldn't use my car. It's at the garage. So, did you get the train? Well, I was on my way to the station, but got on the wrong bus. It took me to the university instead. I was looking at my phone and didn't notice. Then I had to get another one to get here. Now listen again. Hi, you're late for work today. Yes, I couldn't use my car. It's at the garage. So, did you get the train? Well, I was on my way to the station, but got on the wrong bus. It took me to the university instead. I was looking at my phone and didn't notice. Then I had to get another one to get here. 2. What will the man eat first at the restaurant? The menu looks really good. What are you going to have? Well, I want roast chicken for the main course, but I'll have the mushroom soup for my first course. I'll have the chicken too, but I'll have salad to start. I had that last time, but I'm really hungry today. Right, so we're ready to order. Now listen again. The menu looks really good. What are you going to have? Well, I want roast chicken for the main course, but I'll have the mushroom soup for my first course. I'll have the chicken too, but I'll have salad to start. I had that last time, but I'm really hungry today. Right, so we're ready to order. 3. Which was the view from the woman's hotel room? Good holiday? Fantastic, thanks. The hotel was by the beach. It had a beautiful garden. Here's a photo. Oh, amazing view. I'd love to wake up in a hotel room and see that beach. Well, my room was on the other side of the hotel, opposite the pool. I walked along the beach every day and around the garden too. Now listen again. Good holiday? Fantastic, thanks. The hotel was by the beach. It had a beautiful garden. Here's a photo. Oh, amazing view. I'd love to wake up in a hotel room and see that beach. Well, my room was on the other side of the hotel, opposite the pool. I walked along the beach every day and around the garden too. Four. Why will the man miss the concert tonight? Are you ready to leave soon? The concert starts at seven. Oh no, you look really pale. Have you got a bad headache? There's something wrong with my tooth. It really hurts. 
What about taking some medicine for the pain? No, thanks. That'll give me a stomach ache. Okay, well, let me try and get a doctor's appointment for you. Now listen again. Are you ready to leave soon? The concert starts at 7. Oh no, you look really pale. Have you got a bad headache? There's something wrong with my tooth. It really hurts. What about taking some medicine for the pain? No thanks. That'll give me a stomach ache. Okay, well, let me try and get a doctor's appointment for you. 5. What will the woman wear for the party? I'm trying to decide what to wear for the party. What do you think of this jumper? It looks great, but won't you be too warm? What about your favourite dress? I'm not sure. Everyone else will probably be in jeans and t-shirts. You don't have to wear what everyone else wears. Yes, you're right. I'll take your advice. Now listen again. I'm trying to decide what to wear for the party. What do you think of this jumper? It looks great, but won't you be too warm? What about your favourite dress? I'm not sure. Everyone else will probably be in jeans and t-shirts. You don't have to wear what everyone else wears. Yes, you're right. I'll take your advice. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a man giving information about a city bus tour. Welcome to City Bus Tours. My name's Greg. We'll start our tour at 10 o'clock. There's another tour at 1.30 and a final one at 20 past 4. There are lots of people this morning, so it might be better to do a later tour instead. If you decide to do that, you need to know the colour of the bus stop. Wait at the blue one. The green stops for the normal city buses, not tourist buses. Some of you've asked how long the tour takes. It's about 90 minutes, and I'll talk for around 40 minutes of that to tell you about the city. Don't lose your bus ticket, as you can use it to get a discount at one of the most interesting places in the city. That's the museum behind the stadium. You need to know where the tour finishes. As you can see, we're outside the university now, and the last place we'll see is the theatre. From there, you can easily get to the river. Now listen again. Welcome to City Bus Tours. My name's Greg. We'll start our tour at 10 o'clock. There's another tour at 1.30 and a final one at 20 past 4. There are lots of people this morning, so it might be better to do a later tour instead. 
If you decide to do that, you need to know the colour of the bus stop. Wait at the blue one. The green stops for the normal city buses, not tourist buses. Some of you've asked how long the tour takes. It's about 90 minutes, and I'll talk for around 40 minutes of that to tell you about the city. Don't lose your bus ticket, as you can use it to get a discount at one of the most interesting places in the city. That's the museum behind the stadium. You need to know where the tour finishes. As you can see, we're outside the university now, and the last place we'll see is the theatre. From there, you can easily get to the river. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear two friends, Richard and Barbara, talking about a new supermarket. Have you been to the new supermarket, Barbara? Yes, Richard. It's great. I went this morning, and I couldn't believe it's so large when you get inside. Were there many people? Not really, but it was early. And you can save money on your shopping. Yeah. Every week, there are special offers on one kind of food, like meat, for example. It's fruit at the moment. And next week, it might be vegetables? I suppose. So, what did you like best? Well, one of the staff told me about the cafe, but I didn't have enough time to go. People don't usually like the songs they hear in supermarkets. But I loved them there. Me too. But I had a problem. You had to wait to pay? Not really. I had to pay by cash. But I prefer using my credit card. What a shame. Did you use the car park? Yes, I found it easily. You have to walk a long way to get to the supermarket. But at least anybody can park all day. Now listen again. Have you been to the new supermarket, Barbara? Yes, Richard. It's great. I went this morning, and I couldn't believe it's so large when you get inside. Were there many people? Not really, but it was early. And you can save money on your shopping. Yeah. Every week, there are special offers on one kind of food, like meat, for example. It's fruit at the moment. And next week it might be vegetables? I suppose. So, oh, what did you like best? Well, one of the staff told me about the cafe, but I didn't have enough time to go. People don't usually like the songs they hear in supermarkets, but I loved them there. Me too. But I had a problem. You had to wait to pay? Not really. I had to pay by cash. But I prefer using my credit card. What a shame. Did you use the car park? Yes, I found it easily. You have to walk a long way to get to the supermarket. But at least anybody can park all day. That is the end of part three. 
Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a woman talking on the radio about her job. What's her job? I guess I've always enjoyed either building or taking things apart, ever since I was a little girl. As a teenager, I love nothing more than helping my dad fix vehicles or working in his garage. So it wasn't a big surprise when I chose a career where I design and build planes. I've had an amazing time so far. Now listen again. I guess I've always enjoyed either building or taking things apart. Ever since I was a little girl, as a teenager, I love nothing more than helping my dad fix vehicles or working in his garage. So it wasn't a big surprise when I chose a career where I design and build planes. I've had an amazing time so far. Seventeen. You will hear a woman talking to a friend about a film. What does she say about the film? Have you seen any good films recently? Yes, last week. I usually watch comedies, but I wanted to watch something different, so I chose a horror film. I was a bit afraid some of the time. It still sounds like a good film. But I prefer ones that are based on facts. Well, this one certainly wasn't. Now listen again. Have you seen any good films recently? Yes, last week. I usually watch comedies, but I wanted to watch something different, so I chose a horror film. I was a bit afraid some of the time. It still sounds like a good film, but I prefer ones that are based on facts. Well, this one certainly wasn't. Eighteen. You will hear a sports coach talking to some footballers. What would the coach like them to become better at? You did much better in last Saturday's match. Well done for scoring two goals. They were a great team, and you almost beat them. What you need to improve is moving fast around the field when you've got the ball. That's what we'll practice today. I'm going to divide you into four small teams, and we'll work together to do this. Now listen again. You did much better in last Saturday's match. Well done for scoring two goals. They were a great team, and you almost beat them. What you need to improve is moving fast around the field when you've got the ball. That's what we'll practice today. I'm going to divide you into four small teams, and we'll work together to do this. Nineteen. You will hear two friends talking about a website. Why does Julia prefer to buy clothes from the website? That's a nice sweater, Julia. Thanks. It's from HighFashion.com. I always order from there. Their men's clothes are all right, if you don't mind wearing stuff that isn't very popular anymore. I don't care about that because everything's at least half price. But orders can take a while before I get them in the mail. Yeah, other sites are faster that way.
Now listen again. That's a nice sweater, Julia. Thanks. It's from highfashion.com. I always order from there. Their men's clothes are all right, if you don't mind wearing stuff that isn't very popular anymore. I don't care about that, because everything's at least half price. But orders can take a while before I get them in the mail. Yeah, other sites are faster that way. Twenty. You will hear two colleagues talking together. Why was the man not at the meeting this morning? How was the meeting this morning, Charlotte? Uh, good. But why weren't you there? Did you have a dentist's appointment or something? That's tomorrow. But one of our most important customers was ill yesterday. He had a terrible earache. So he wanted to see me today. Unfortunately, that meant missing the meeting. Okay. Well, let me tell you what we discussed. Now listen again. How was the meeting this morning, Charlotte? Uh, good. But why weren't you there? Did you have a dentist's appointment or something? That's tomorrow. But one of our most important customers was ill yesterday. He had a terrible earache, so he wanted to see me today. Unfortunately, that meant missing the meeting. Okay. Well, let me tell you what we discussed. That's the end of part four. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Gregory talking to Angelica about some things he has bought for his new house. What is he going to put in each place? Where are you going to put all these things, Gregory? I like eating in the garden when it's hot, Angelica, so this table's going outside. I thought it was for your dining room. I've already got a table in there. I got this little light to go on it. That'll look good. It's the same colour as the curtains already in there. That's true. Did you get something to go in your bathroom too? This mirror, maybe? The wooden chair, actually. I think it'll look good next to the bath. Nice idea. And what about your bedroom? I thought about putting this bookcase in there. But I think this little cupboard will look nicer than the bookcase. There's a space in the living room, a perfect place for the bookcase, you know, under the mirror. That's a good idea. Yes. Do you think the kitchen's a good place to put this clock? That's a present for my parents, actually. Oh, <laughs> but there's lots of light in there, so why don't you put the mirror in there? Good idea. Now listen again. Where are you going to put all these things, Gregory? I like eating in the garden when it's hot, Angelica, so this table's going outside. I thought it was for your dining room. I've already got a table in there. I got this little light to go on it. That'll look good. It's the same colour as the curtains already in there. That's true. Did you get something to go in your bathroom too? This mirror, maybe? The wooden chair, actually. I think it'll look good next to the bath. Nice idea. 
And what about your bedroom? I thought about putting this bookcase in there, but I think this little cupboard will look nicer than the bookcase. There's a space in the living room, a perfect place for the bookcase, you know, under the mirror. That's a good idea. Yes. Do you think the kitchen's a good place to put this clock? That's a present for my parents, actually. Oh, but there's lots of light in there, so why don't you put the mirror in there? Good idea. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.